You guys are watching Steelers Talk. I am Tom Downey for Chat Sports with a seven round mock draft with trades on today's show as we're kind of fixing Steelers, me and your boy producer Jeremy did today. Now, first up, a look of where the Steelers sit in this year's draft. They've got a lot of picks round one, round two, round three, round four, round six, and two round seven selections. But remember, I'm doing trades in this one, which means I'm able to get a little bit creative from that standpoint. Now, quarterback could also be viewed as a need, but beyond that, you're looking at safety, wide receiver, defensive line, corner, and edge. Varying levels of need from that standpoint. Safety really jumps out to me as a big focal point for this team, but I'd love a number one corner, and I'd always like more defensive line and tier depth since I think there is some uncertainty around various players like Stefan Tuitt. Now, as a reminder, we will be live for the entirety of the 2022 NFL Draft on our Chat Sports YouTube channel. Round 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And unlike ESPN, we'll actually break down each and every single pick. So subscribe if you haven't already at YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV. And type in me in the comment section if you'll be joining us and joining me since I'll be anchoring our coverage there. YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV. Type those me's in for me in the comment section right now. Before we get to pick number 20, the notable guys who are off the board. Things got weird. Don't blame me or producer Jeremy. We're using the draft sim uh, later from PFN, so weird stuff happens. Like Malik Willis went number two. Kyle Hamilton went number four. Trayvon Walker. Daxton Hill off the board at number 18. Chris Olave was taken. So on the board at number 20, some notable players there. A little bit thin on the offensive line. Tyler Linderbaum was there. Kenny Pickett is on the board. Derek Stingley, the cornerback from LSU. Devin Lloyd from Utah, if you want to replace Devin Bush. Drake London, if you want a receiver. So before we get to my pick, who would you guys take? Type OL for Tyler Linderbaum in the offensive line. QB for quarterback Kenny Pickett. CB for Derek Stingley, the corner. Linebacker Devin Lloyd, type in LB. Or if you want Drake London, the USC receiver, type USC. So get those votes in. Let me know who, or WR, WR, excuse me, WR for Drake London. Type in those votes at the pinned comment. If the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. While the ad plays, let me know who you guys would take in the comments right now. Thought about going Kenny Pickett, but Derek Stingley's there at 20. How can I pass on him? I think Pittsburgh's in okay shape at corner with Akella Witherspoon and Levi Wallace, but Stingley could be your number one corner. I think he should be a top 15 pick easily in this year's class. I can plug and play him in there on the outside. The value at pick number 20 was way too much to pass up. There were some offers as well uh, to move down, but I'm taking Stingley. I thought about Kenny Pickett, but I, I could not do it uh, in any from, from that standpoint. Like I had to find a way to make that one happen. So I'm taking Stingley at number 20, and I'm not looking back from that standpoint. Trade alert time here. We're sitting on the board, pick number 52 for the Steelers. And guess who comes calling? The Patriots. They want to move up two spots in the second round, offering a fifth rounder. So for me, I got a bunch of guys I like on the board that can fill various positions of need. I don't need to stay where I'm at. I'll take that extra fifth rounder, take a flyer on somebody. I still, spoiler, end up getting my guy. Patriots go get Kenneth Walker, which I thought was super weird, but I'm happy to trade down, add extra draft capital. That was a win as far as I'm concerned. Some players who were on the board, the guys I was considering. Drake Jackson, who I kind of want a third edge rusher, can never have too many of those guys. Alec Pierce is on the board at wide receiver. There was a bit of a run earlier before pick, before pick 52. Travis Jones is there if you want a nose guard. But I'm going to go with Jalen Petrie. The safety out of Baylor. A lot of buzz on, hey, could the Steelers sign the Honey Badger? He's not as good as Tyron Matthew is. That's not a fair expectation. But play style-wise, being able to hang out in the box, almost being an overhang linebacker for Baylor, 
I actually like the idea of adding Jalen Petrie as my safety to pair with Minka Fitzpatrick. I think he's a really awesome football player. He'll hit. He showed he can cover it at the Senior Bowl. Good athlete. A lot of traits and upside to like here despite being a little bit undersized. A Petrie-Fitzpatrick pairing is an awesome one, I believe, for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I love the value and the fit here in round two. Now, when it comes to safety, is that the biggest need for the Steelers in the draft? Or is it, you know, a wide receiver, a quarterback, something else altogether? Let me know what you, if, if you agree if it is the biggest need for uh, at safety, type Y for yes, it is, or N for no, it is not. Cameron Thomas next up here. I'm going edge again. I think the value's really good. This is one of producer Jeremy's guys, by the way. Good production at San Diego State, by the way. I think you're getting a good rotational piece who I think also brings you a little bit of something different for this organization. You are going to use a lot of four down fronts. I think Cam Thomas can help you on in that area. You could get creative with the ways you deploy Cam Thomas and Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt. With the contract you paid TJ Watt, I want to make this point too. I'm not sure you're going to pay Alex Highsmith. So I'm kind of helping myself out now with more pass rush depth in case there are more injuries and maybe prepping a little bit here long term in the event that you don't pay Alex Highsmith. All right, fourth round, number 138 overall. How about the fastest man in this year's draft who's healthy? Tyquan Thornton. I don't think he's just a fast football player, by the way. The production was really good at Baylor. I want another vertical threat since I'm going to use Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool in a variety of ways as my potential number three receiver, as my James Washington replacement. I am very intrigued by Thornton. I think we'll have some special teams value as well as a gunner. The production was pretty good for a vertical threat. Hopefully, the Trubisky-led offense can go downfield a bit more successfully than the Big Ben was, uh, the Big Ben offense was in the last couple years. Whoever the Steelers end up actually taking, they will rock these hats on draft night, and you can get one of your own at chatsports.com slash Steeler Draft Hat. Check the comment section and the description. We'll put that link in there for you guys so you can get your own Steelers Draft Hat. The black and white and gold or yellow, I'm not going to start a feud again, those look awesome. They're really good hats compared to some of the other ones out there. Chatsports.com slash Steeler Draft Hat. Round five, number 158. One of my guys, Zach Tom, who I don't know where he plays in the NFL. I've seen he could be a left tackle, guard, center. I got a free pick here using from the Patriots. I like Zach Tom a lot. I wouldn't hate playing him at left tackle, letting him compete with Dan Moore. Maybe he's another center option for you long term. But he can play, I think, all over the offensive line. I think he is very undervalued by a lot of these draft sims right now. So Zach Tom in the fifth round, not just because of, of the, the, the name. Nice to have a Thomas Tom and a Zach Tom on uh, here for the Steelers. I think he's a good fit for Pittsburgh and a great value in the fifth round. We're going to double dip at wide receiver because it is a big need. And I actually like Danny Gray a lot. I don't know if there's going to be another Darnell Mooney in this year's class. But if there is, I kind of think it's Danny Gray. Good production at SMU. Really good athlete. Profiles, again, as a vertical threat. I don't mind double dipping in that mold since I can use Johnson and I can use Claypool underneath on the outside as well. I, you could talk me into having Danny Gray above Tyquan Thornton. I thought about both those guys in round four. To have Gray be on the board in the sixth round, it was simply too good a value to pass up. What I want you guys to do right now is name a sleeper in this year's draft. Who do you think it is? Is it Danny Gray? Is, it, is there somebody else you've got your eye on in the later rounds of this year's draft? If so, let me know in the comments section. Round seven. Let's gamble. We'll double dip again at corner. Darion Kendrick. Now, speed concerns are very, very real. He did not have a very good 40-yard dash. That was disappointing. Uh, and I think I already had speed concerns about him. The, the bad 40 made that only worse. Off-field stuff as well. But he's a former receiver who played pretty well at Clemson and Georgia. The measurables off the field aren't ideal. The play wasn't that bad. Here's a sleeper for you, the other seventh-round pick, DeMarco Jackson. I think he's undervalued. Uh, he's going to be a minimum a top 150 guy for me this year. The linebacker out of Appalachian State, really good production. I think he's a good athlete, too. I think Jackson could 
honestly, I, if you took him at 138, I'd be okay, cool. So, yes, we're taking advantage of the draft simulators not being that great. But, hey, I, I can only play with the hands I'm dealt there. So, give me DeMarco Jackson in round seven as a steal, potentially, for the Steelers. <laughs> Get it? All right, mock draft results. Derek Stingley, number 20. Jalen Peachy, number 54. Hey, I just fixed that secondary in a heartbeat. Cameron Thomas at 84, the edge from San Diego State. Tyquan Thornton, receiver from Miller at 130. Another, another receiver, Danny Gray at 208 from SMU. Offensive lineman Zach Tom, no relation to me, out of Wake. Darion Kendrick out of Georgia, the corner. And a guy I love and I'm very high on, DeMarco Jackson, linebacker from App State. So grade our mock draft. If you like it, I take full credit. If you don't like it, I'm going to blame producer Jeremy. Get your grades in for me, A, B, C, D, or F. 